Hello, my name is Ahmad Adam Imran bin Azman and welcome to WhatsApp 5.0. Today I would like to talk about the time I competed in Viper 100. For those of you who don't know what Viper 100 is, it was a competition that was held in Malaysia last year based on the very popular Korean Netflix show called Physical 100. So about the competition, it involved all the contestants, myself including, having to tackle five obstacles that were presented to us while trying to collect as many points as possible. The way that we collected the points was by either one, lasting as long as possible on the obstacle, or two, by finishing the obstacle as fast as possible. Alright, so the first obstacle was called Hang Tough. As the name would suggest, it involved us hanging from a bar that was already placed there for us. And the longer you hung, the more points you would get. So there I was, hanging from the bar, completely zoned in. Uh, after about 90 seconds, I was saying to myself, this is easy, super simple. I can hang on this bar forever. That was until one more minute in that my arms felt like jelly and I wanted this to be over and it was excruciatingly painful. And I ended up hanging on for just about three minutes, only collecting half of the points that I could. Nice. Next, it was an obstacle called the wall push. It had the same concept as hang tough, where you would have to uh, last how long you could to collect as many points as possible. But instead of hanging from a bar, there were these two walls that were placed and we would have to wedge ourselves in between them and just stay like that for as long as we could. And this obstacle taught me a very, very valuable lesson that day. For those of you out there who are uh, consistently training, please do not skip leg day because out of all the obstacles I faced on that day, this was by far the one that I did my worst on. It was because I didn't train legs a lot and because of that I paid the ultimate price. I only lasted about 2 minutes and collecting such little points on that obstacle. So for the third obstacle, it was the rope climb. This was the first obstacle where you didn't have to last your longest but had to finish your fastest. And because of the first two obstacles, I was determined to do as best as I could on this one. And in my opinion, I have pretty decent upper body strength. So I, in my head, I wanted to do my best on this obstacle. So right after the referee gave the whistle, I climbed the rope and I finished it in under 10 seconds, which was what you had to do to collect maximum points. I was proud of that one. Next, it was the bridge walk. The bridge walk involved us standing on these two platforms that would uh, move as we uh, put pressure on them and we would have to make it all the way to the other side. The faster you do that, the more points do you would garner from this obstacle. And again, I managed to collect maximum points as I finished it under the necessary time. And lastly, it was the obstacle that caused me my most pain, which was called the death grip. It involved you hanging on, no, not hanging on, sorry, holding a very, very slim piece of rope that was connected to 30 kilograms of, I guess, weighted bags, that's what they would call them, and you would just have to hold on. To get maximum points, you would have to hold on for five minutes without the bag dropping, and just through... I guess my own strength and sheer willpower, I managed to hold on for 4 minutes. But after that, I was gone and also my hands were very painful and quite blistered. So those were all the obstacles I faced and in the end, I collected a total of 19 points which was not enough to move on to the final round. Yeah, I was a bit sad, but in the end, it taught me a valuable lesson to always keep my health at a very good uh place and in the end it inspired me to train more so that's all for my whatsapp 5.0 see you guys next time bye